Thanks for joining us online. Now we're putting you guys on the clock for a very short responses to other stories in the news this week. Deborah Holland was elected to lead the Democratic Party in New Mexico. She's the first Native American to lead the party. In fact, to lead any major party here in New Mexico. And Martha, was, well, would Ms. Holland have an, an appreciable impact because of her Native American heritage versus not? And if so, why? I think she would because mm -hmm. I think she could communicate with candidates ah. how important the Native American vote is in this state. Right. The last two gubernatorial elections, our candidates have not really cultivated that vote. They didn't meet with the governors. Mm. They didn't meet with the tribes. They sort of took it for granted. Sure. I think she'd have a big impact there. Interesting. And I think based on her record, her challenge is going to be, as it always is with who's ever the chairperson, raising money. Ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah raising money is the big thing. Um, I think you know, more power to her. That's yeah. great for her. I also think that it's, uh, it's good that we've got some ideological diversity within the Native American uh, community mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. politically because mm -hmm. Sharon Clutches Tillage, who uh, right. uh, got elected sure. back in 2012, got reelected in 2014 right. as a Republican. There aren't very many Republican Native Americans. Interesting. And a couple of districts have swung one way or the other, depending on your point of view, that have heavy Native American populations. Yeah. In the close races, this is no small thing. I think I think it's great that she's in that leadership position. I mm -hmm. think it's uh, it was a long time coming, and there's just so much institutional reasons why it's been, you know, sort of a, a different role than you know, a woman of color. Sure. Um, and you know, it's an unpaid position, so right. it's a really tough job to have, right. um, but I think she'll do great. Dan, you mentioned some weeks ago the challenges for party people to raise money here. The Democratic Party's 10G in the hole, there's another 55 hanging out there. It, it, the money thing. I don't, I don't think that. they elected her because she's gonna go raise money. Okay. I think they elected her because hi historically in New Mexico, Native Americans, the vote is very big and it's very in play. Right. Gary Johnson doesn't become governor without Native American votes. Susanna Martinez doesn't win her. without Native American votes. Mm -hmm. George Bush doesn't do like he did in New Mexico without Native American votes. They're a very large voting block. They're a very active voting block but you do have to go talk to them, mm -hmm. you do have to pay homage to them, and you do have to listen to their concerns. And they will pay attention, they will hold you accountable. Mm -hmm. So I don't think she was hired so far to be mm -hmm. a fundraiser, I think she Although was hired. she has fundraising experience. She has, but I think, I think she was hired to help bring back the Native American vote to the Democrats. Mm -hmm. Interesting.